It's not really. Let's go. Top five, baby. Top five. You know, we archer. We archer. So Oaks. We've we've done we've done ten to six. We're halfway there. And um I know yesterday's yesterday's would have been a little bit of a, a surprise to some people to say the least. I think ADM has showed what he's capable of, this posture not too fantastic, but I think he definitely still deserves a spot in the top ten. But now now we're in the top five. And as I said in yesterday's video, I really struggled rating 6 to 4 just because of the three phenomenal players that are in these three positions. But, um, you know, I think, I think today today's going to be a bit juicy. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be scrumptious. It's going to be all those things. Um, in case you haven't got it already, I'll give you one more hint. He's cracked. Uh, I don't, there's no nuts inside a mango, I don't think. Actually, is there? I don't know. Let me Google. What? Is there a nut in a mango? Mango is the same family as the cashew and pistachio. What? Can some... Oh, I search nut allergy. What? Yo, that's nuts. But, uh, yeah, so this Oak is coming in at five. Did you see? Oaks, I can't remember the last time I had a mango, okay? My sister actually recently made a mango ice cream. It was average. But you know what is an average? This player, bro, to say the least. This player is actually quite insane. I mean, only, only four matches in the whole of 2020 on HLTV. But, I mean... <laughs> Getting beat 16-8 and being the best performer on your team. Getting beaten 16-6 and being a top performer on your team. And then there was this when he still played for Goliath back back way back when. Performing 1.81 rating is absolutely nuts. But this is, excuse me, the averages we got for, for Mango and HLTV. But as we said, this doesn't paint the full picture. So this is one game, which is actually in the semi-final of Nodwin, where he genuinely popped off against Goliath, where... This is a new Goliath roster. Energy were coming in, trying to cement their spots in the second or third best in the country. And this is probably where they proved that they were probably third best, arguably second best. You could make that sort of argument la late in the year. And Mango was definitely a front runner in that. However, we're going to be looking at a different BO3 where Energy beat out Goliath specifically. And that's going to be in the postseason of ESCA. And this nuke game was genuinely insane. 160 ADR. In a 16-10 victory against Goliath in the postseason of ESC Open Season 35. And Mango went absolutely ham on the CT and T side. But we're more going to look at the CT side just because he, the shots he had were nuts. The shots he had were genuinely unreal. So yeah, we got Mango coming in at 5. And again, I don't know if you guys agree. I don't know if you guys disagree. You guys can let me know. It's all that good stuff. Um... But sure, we got Mango coming in at 5, before him was ADM, and I think it was fitting. As I said, I struggled ra ranking these these players um, these players 6 through 4, just because of the quality of players that had to be put in an order, you know? So it, it was rough ranking there, but I think Mango, I mean, I think, I think the demo will do some speaking for itself. I think he's genuinely, a mechanically phenomenal, to say the least. We'll see what he keeps done. Okay, so he's gonna catch a loose. There's no armor, so he can get some body shots down. He's just staying alive here for the rotates. One kill in the round. Double doors for nothing. 180, gets zip zip. One bullet left. Misses, okay. Still staying alive for his team. Still staying. Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. Starting off, starting off strong, you know? He's here to show what's happening. So something Mango likes to do is he likes to actually drop the smoke outside T nuke. And this isn't the typical glaive smoke which you see dropped just in front of red, which allows you to cross uh, just in front of that, that blue box just by red. Uh, which allows you to cross over to back red and swing the guys when they throw the outside smokes, etc, etc. This smoke is actually very particular. To play behind it, play around it, try to get a... Okay. And try to get a one-way, sort of, onto, towards those players who go, um... You go top silo. 
And Mango, he's always willing to take these gunfights outside. He's always willing to take these aim duels. He's more than mechanically sound to take pretty much any gunfight he wants to. So he likes to throw the smoke quite often because when the players go top silo, or this smoke, which is the variation, which you drop the glaive smoke and do the preemptive molly, which allows for the molly the outside smoke, stuff like that. He likes to drop that other smoke, however, just to play around it with a little bit of a one way. So if anyone goes top silo, then they're going to have a rough time seeing him. They're going to get their heads torn off. But Mango, he played on energy for the majority of the year. He started off on Goliath, went over to energy, and in the latter, in the early stages of 2021, possibly last stages of 2020, I'm not quite sure when, when that was a. Uh, when I was uh, when that deal took place, but um, you know, finds himself in this ATK roster going overseas, and I think he's genuinely phenomenal. And um, in Hayes's uh, podcast that he spoke to to Mister and Spray about, uh, Spray said this is a bit verbatim, so don't don't quote me on this, but Spray said something along the lines of, when ATK played another team, Mango was the only person who really caused them problems, and I can agree with him. Like if you look at what happened like mango is genuinely one of those players who has the ability to single-handedly tear apart the enemy the, the the enemy team and this is an example of that this is a really good goliath team second or third best in the country arguably and he drips, just drops 38 frags on them as, as simple as you like as easy as you like light work for mango um and he, and he really he really turned up in the in this sort of performance and this is sort of this is sort of a little a little taste of what mango can of what mango can do and how mango can perform so when he's rotated down vent single's been smoked off. he actually spots someone just before the smoke blooms so he gets one frag. okay okay gets another two elusive now tadium lost alive i see you mango i see you mango i see you mango and i have to get the ak so this was a 19-5 half as i said 19-5 considering the first 15 rounds already done. And the game ends 16-10. So... Uh, he popped off, to say the least. I was watching this game. I think it was being casted or streamed or something. And, um... Or I may have just watched the demo. And... One of the rounds Manga had... It was like... That was when, if you're Goliath, you just accept, like... Aish. Like, he's, he's just... You, j you just can't stop someone from popping, you know? Some people just pop some games, some people don't. But this game, Mango turned up and he popped and it mattered most. Okay, so he's been spotted outside with that smoke. Probably he's overstaying his welcome a bit, so he's going to get out of dodge. Actually, going to carry on taking the fight to eventually get taken down by Dweezil. So, he falls. He falls. The full investment, though, so we all Gucci. That was actually a partial buy from Goliath as well, so that means they're going to have a really good, really good buy. Panda's actually going to get run boosted up to the top. Mango's going to be playing his mouth position, just braiding over towards door, seeing how things go, and um, making sure no shenanigans happen if T's trying to sneak out this position and whatnot. A molly towards top hut. He's going to molly in response towards door. Did you hear that player step? I think he had a player step for his vent. Yeah. Ooh, great adjustment from Asuka though. So that was just unlucky. I think, I think the, the idea there was good. Playing in front of the door smoke, but uh, Massacre was just on the other side of it. And I mean, if, if Mango gets in front of that door smoke, you just need to understand that the T's, they just aren't going to come out, eh? So he's died twice already of the fir in the of, he, of his five. So keep in mind, every round he dies and doesn't get a frag means that there's another multi-kill round coming around the corner. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all, that's all I'm saying. You know? But, um, yeah. So, Mango spent most of, his most of his time in the year on the energy roster along with his brother and Panda Flexi and, and Wipeout. And um, he initially started the year on a Goliath roster, had some experience overseas. Um, not not for, for an extended period of time. Nothing like he's going to experience with ATK in the coming months. But I think... Mango is definitely an exciting prospect to go overseas, to go over to NA and see how he can perform on this ATK roster. I, I do question... Whew. Whew. Gets two. I do question the sort of numbers he's going to be not necessarily able to put up, but allowed to put up, if that makes sense. Because I know 
for for eighty for eighty k. I don't. Th he's not. I don't think he's gonna get played around like he did in energy, like he he does in other teams sort of thing where he is the star player. He's the player that's gonna put up twenty five plus frags a game. I don't think that's gonna happen with ATK. They're probably gonna mold him into a bit of a different player. Probably quite Doru esque. I'm not sure if they're gonna switch roles or mold him into a Doru and have have him play the same role as Doru, but that time will tell with that. But I have no doubt that he's gonna be more than capable to, to fulfill any role that that team needs. I mean this this player is genuinely absolutely cracked. So what he's doing here is he's just jiggle peeking towards CT blue. It's a pretty safe jiggle peek. You can jiggle peek across the outside as well as the players going top silo. So that's what he's doing. He's checking outside, top silo, outside, top silo. And as soon as he sees someone, he can fall back, flash for his teammate, wipe out. But he's actually going to fall back and take this gunfight over towards top of mouth. Okay. So now he's in a bit of a sticky situation. He knows they could be pushing him with the, with the heaven and hell smoke. He's actually spotted players towards the house. And the trigger discipline... Is where it's at. Mango's just saying, guys, give me time, give me time, guys, please, please, guys, don't peek out, don't peek out, give me time. And he gets three. Absolutely unreal. Sick round from Mango, and that's that's what trigger discipline gets you. As easy as you like. 13 9. Um so yeah, I think I think on this ATK roster, I think he's more than capable to fulfill any role that he needs to. He's actually molly the outside smoke, but uh doesn't doesn't account for the gap. He's gonna be spraying through this to get some damage done. And then just still patrol over towards the outside. Because quite often he's gonna hear quite a quite a few over towards the low the lower side. So quite often when these outside smokes come in, usually the top hut player drops, but if you don't have that info fast enough, you can't you can't be dropping <coughs> when when they're already down because then you're pretty much just giving up a life. So all Mango's doing there is he's just patrolling towards outside, watching for a lurk, and then waiting for his teammates so that he can rotate in. Which is pretty effective. So that they have a pretty strong flexi catches elusive as zips up trades are panda. So what Oh, and he gets hit taken up by Massacre. But what he's doing there is he's just he's just waiting for his teammates so that he can rotate in effectively. If they have to play off one another they can, they can trade, stuff like that. So he's actually been bought up in M4 and flashed towards outside. But he's not actually going to take these duels. He's going to get out of dodge. 74 HP left in the round. 14-9. And he's just going to be patrolling towards this area of the map. You see, I think I think Panda has an MP9. Yeah, he does. So, the the belief that Panda has in Mango's ability is he's literally going down to an MP9 just so that Mango can be on a on an M4. Which just shows you the trust and the, the ability that Mango has in the team. The ability that he has to, to drop 25 frags and... If you put him in good positions, uh, he's he's going to cause the enemy team problems. And that's exactly what we saw happen in this game. 38 frags in the first map on Nuke. He didn't really have a great game in the second map. But I mean, when you have an absolutely light out performance in the first one, you know the team confidence is high. You know your confidence is high. You can feel your uh, teammate's energy. And this, they were able to close out, close out the series in the end, which was, I wouldn't say surprising. It was... Uh, you can have arguments for either way, but um, okay, they've got an A execute coming in. Really, really good spacing of the flashes from from Goliath. Panda's actually going to catch one of the rotates. Mango gets one onto Dweezil. It should be around for Goliath. One v three. Destroy's just going to save. Um, I think the the B O three is between Goliath and Energy. Always at the end of the year, you never really knew which way it was going to go. You could never really say one team was a favorite or one team wasn't. I think you had an argument for for selecting either side pretty much for 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 winning that best of three out. But um, towards the end of the year, um, oh my goodness, that's cracked to say the least that's phenomenal um yeah 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 um but towards the end of the year you could really make an argument pretty much for either side he actually gets to tag onto elusive there i believe uh towards the end of the year you can make an argument pretty much for for either side being the favorite or for for winning out the bo3 for a previous prediction prediction the great lobby pinch coming out Panda and flexi doing doing god's work there in lobby um I think we saw things pretty much go go energy's way at the end of um, at the end of 2020, and I think I think Mango was one of the players who, who reaped the benefits of that. I think he was the one player that performed quite quite phenomenally in in pretty much all of those all of those series. We saw the one in Nodwin, 
Or, or Mzanti Esports League. Okay, wait. This is a 1v4 by DM. So he's got two. Now you got to give him the respect, you know. Now you know it's ADM. Can't be messing about. But I think energy, close to the end of the year, they were, they were starting to to win out the BO3 more, more, more often uh, than Galath, were obviously a lot of factors involving that. Energy, staying with the same roster the whole year, things starting to click, as well as Goliath with the exact opposite, the recent roster changes and, and stuff like that. So, now, uh, eight seconds. Flex is just swinging heaven. And the bomb is B, okay. Okay, interesting, so... Flex is gonna drop. Nightmare's gonna follow him, and now it's 2v1, you just gotta play off one another, make sure the spacing's good. One player's just gotta run out and make space, try to get the info, there's the flash. And now they've just gotta make space for his teammates so you can trade. Oh, spots him out. Now I gotta catch that ADM, easy as you like. 15-10. Now, now we're... I don't think you guys are ready for this round. This round is absolutely cracked on console, to say the least. 15-10. So Mango's gonna drop the smoke once again. He's gonna see the outside smokes come out really, really fast again. He's gonna volume response. And now he's playing behind them. He's gonna get all this info and even a flash will come through. One, two. Flash as well. Three. One bullet left. Woo! Oh my goodness. This is Mango. This is Mango in a nutshell. One round to display what Mango's capable of. That's what it was, to say the least. Like, if you could put, if you could sum up Mango in one round, that's what it would be. Just absolute firepower. Absolute. He can literally pop off any time. He could literally perform at the highest level any time. And when he pops, it is scary. When he pops, it is absolutely scary. When he performs at the top of his game. I mean, look at these multi kills. On CT side, he went 19 and five. So let's look at the first half. First of all, 19 and eight, and he had. Five multi kill rounds out of I don't know what the first half score was. I think it was nine it was either nine six or, or, or eight seven. But regardless, he had five multi kill rounds, one of which was a four K. On the C T side, he had six multi kill rounds, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely top class player. Finds himself with this ATK roster where pretty much the sky is the limit for them as they move overseas. We never know what's going to happen with him, but I think Mango is one of those players where he can perform at the top of his game. He can, he can pop off at any time. And I think, as I said when I when I did Blaze and and I ranked Blaze, speaking about how how scary ATK can be, it's not necessarily when Slowy, Fady, or Mister are popping off. They get especially scary when when Blaze and now Mango when they start firing, when they start running into sites, clicking heads and stuff like that. That's that's when ATK become especially especially scary and especially a force to be reckoned with. So as I said, only only time will tell how they perform overseas. And I think Mango, sixteen years young, he he can make it whatever he wants of it. If he puts work in, he's gonna perform at the top of his game and perform at a really high level. And you never know, maybe he finds himself on a different team come come twenty twenty two or something like that. You never know. I mean he's he's got the ability to do so, depending on how ATK do he's He's got he's got what's there. Hopefully, he has a good support system overseas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think Mango is definitely a player to look out for in the future. Sixteen years young, as I said, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 see what happens. Absolutely unreal player. And Mango, when you watch this, I'm sorry for ending your streak again because you're never gonna give you're never gonna let it down. But uh, it happens. Eh? So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, you guys will see this today on the 19th. Um, be sure to like, subscribe. Hit the bell icon to know when I upload next. Tomorrow's episode will be out at 3 p.m. Uh, where I'll be ranking the number fourth player. That's four. We're in the top five now. Mango coming in at five. So as I said, subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video, share it with someone. It really helps a lot if you share it with someone, get the word out. Because um, I'll be ranking the top ten players, in my opinion, are in South African Counter-Strike for 2020. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip.